This is Pony Prepper Bill. Going to make another video. I made one the other day, but it was too windy. And then it was rainy. You couldn't hear what I was saying. So then I came out yesterday. And But anyway, I'm out here at Packham Pond again, not far from my house, at the old Lebanon State Forest, which is now Brendan T. Byrne State Forest, I guess. A lot of shit going on. Uh, pretty nice out here. Nice lake. Uh, World War III, distraction, prices, shortages, you name it. Uh, I was going to sit down, but it's soaking wet. Had problems with my truck, all kinds of problems with the truck. Engine, transmission, rear, electrical system. And I'm saving up to get this fixed, saving up to get that fixed. And then it turns out. The frame is completely rusted through. Truck was almost broken completely in half. That's nice. I paid a lot of money for that truck a year and a half, going on two years. And it was the biggest piece of shit I've ever bought in my life. I was without a truck for a while, and we bought my wife a cheap car to get to and from work and drop her daughter off to go to work. And then that had a fuel leak. They got real bad, so we tried the guy that we bought it from. He said, bring it back, you get it here, I'll fix it. So, she was coming back from work, it was leaking. Figured we'd try and get it, he's only 14 miles from our house. And we made it uh, about three miles and lost three quarters of a tank of gas. It was just pouring out. So, my wife realized we have towing on our insurance. So if you break down, they'll tow your car. Called them. We made it like three and a half, four miles from our house by the lake. Called the insurance company. Yes, you have towing. Where are you at? Where is it going to go? Well, they called us back. We ended up waiting over two hours for a tow truck. They had local tow trucks, but nobody wanted to drive where we were. They only go. They only want to go 10 to 12 miles in their area because of the price of gas or price of fuel, whatever you want to call it. So they were calling around and calling. They found another place and then they didn't want to come out, but they were local. But we were like more than 15 miles. No, we're not doing that. So the guy that did come was further away than everybody else. He was like 20 or 30 miles away and he towed it. But they're getting reimbursed from the insurance company. So what do they care about fuel prices? So was it the towing company that said no, or was it the insurance company that said no, because they wanted too much per mile? I don't know. It's nice out here. It was nice when I came out, and then it just, it's freaking raining. So, I went to get my truck fixed, and the guy's like, you're just putting a Band-Aid on major problems. When I bought the truck, I looked it all over, looked underneath, and it had a coating on the frame, and everything looked real nice and clean. It wasn't. They hit it. There were so many rust holes in it. I mean holes. You could put your fist through the holes. And the skid plate fell off where we're driving. The, uh, my mom, who weighs like 60, 70 pounds, went to get my truck one day, and uh, the running board fell off. Yeah. So, I don't know what trail I want here. I'll just walk, who cares. So, I end up getting another truck. Went with the GMC this time, GMC Sierra. Uh, uh, for me to get another Ford would just be ridiculous. I've had like six Dodges. But you know, they rust out like crazy too, at least the ones I did. All kind of electrical problems on them too. But I've had them all figured. I haven't had a Chevy in 30 years. I'll try another Chevy. But couldn't get a tow truck because of fuel prices. That's crazy. And then guy was going to buy my truck for parts. 
and he came down and he's like, oh, I'm gonna have a tow truck tow it. I said, okay. He came down and he ended up driving it. Every day he's gonna drive it a little bit further because tow trucks won't come. It's unbelievable. Shortages are getting. We went to the store the other day and they, they weren't out of anything. Some stuff's up, some stuff is ridiculous, and some stuff isn't bad at all. Strawberries, the thing of strawberries that we get the pigs every now and then was like $13 for like six strawberries. Went to another store and I had a whole shitload of them for like $5.99. Depends on where you shop, what they got. Took my mom out the other day for Mother's Day, took her out to eat. Oh, I should wear my jacket. Now it's really starting to rain. You stay here under the trees. So we took my mom out for Mother's Day to get something to eat. And went to Cracker Barrel. It used to be really good. There was nothing really spectacular. Nothing really to talk about. Can you see the rain coming down in the, in the lake? <sighs> so, the stuff going on with you. Russia... Ukraine is all distraction. You know, people are saying that Ukraine is kicking Russia's ass. They're not. Russia is at war with the rest of the world at this point. There's something not, something's not right. Money-wise, we're sending money over there. We're sending arms and guns and ammo. But where's it going? You know, like I was watching Secret Stuff earlier. And he was saying the same exact thing. Where's the money going? People are over there with like 10 bullets. It, it's there's something, something's not right. I think it's all distraction. If Russia wanted to, they could just go in there and wipe everything out in three or four days. And as far as World War III, I don't really think so. But if it is, I don't think it would be Russia. Because... World War III, there's not going to be any winners, in my opinion. It's just going to be whoever's left. Oh no, it's swamp. This trail is full of water. I don't want to walk through there. So, about an EMP. Ooh, there's a lot more water over here than I thought. Ooh. Let me hold on to a tree. I, tr I think I made a video last year, the year before. I can't find it. Maybe I just put it in there and it's not in the title. But I don't know if it was the Panama Canal, one of them. They stopped a cargo ship. I think it was a cargo ship from Iran. And uh, what the hell was that? The captain took off or something. I forget the whole story. I don't want to say it. And then, oh, well, that's not exactly what happened. Anyway, they found, like, nuclear warheads or bombs in uh, the cargo bay. But they, they weren't armed. They didn't have launch codes or whatever. But I've been hearing Iran supposedly might nuke us. And that's probably a possibility. And if they did, they could say it's Russia or we could say it's Russia. Oh my god, that's a lot of water. <laughs> I don't tell I was thinking. Wow, this water's high. It's ever flowing into the trail. Frog. I hope it's a frog. See a beaver. Beaver to that tree. But Iran could set off you know, medium altitude nuclear bombs. You just set them up, they don't have to go that far. They could knock out our electrical system. I don't think they could hit everything, but they could hit the east and west coast, which means we would have no power. That's what I think is going to happen. If Russia did it, I could see Putin getting pissed off, shooting a nuke just to blow our power out. Like, hey, leave us the hell alone, stay out of it. 
Because we're funding all this shit. NATO is funding all this stuff. We need to stay, stay the hell out of it. It's a setup. It's by design. In my opinion, anyway. But... It's nice back here. If Putin set off one nuclear missile to blow out you know, like, uh, hey, like the, th the first punch, sucker punch, to stay out of it. If he did that, we would see them launch it. And from what I would read, it used to be like 45 minutes it would reach here, half hour, 15 minutes. And the last report I saw was they have missiles that can get here in five minutes. I don't know where exactly it would hit. That ain't enough time to do anything. And if we see something launch... We're going to counterattack. You know, they might just set one up to go up high to knock out our power. We don't know that. We see a launch, we're going to send nukes over there, blow shit up. There's no winners in that. So then they retaliate, goes back and forth, back and forth. What the hell is this? Moss? Ew. But I see Iran doing something. Because we're being distracted by everything. The racial shit going on. Biden and Trump. and It's all bullshit. The gay, LGBT, and all that crap. The alphabet people. You're a man or you're a woman. You like men or you like women. Now people are associating with animals. My pronoun and verbs and adjectives are duck. Today I'm a duck, tomorrow I'm a goose. Got some little cabins over here. I came here earlier. And I'm coming down to Packham Pond. Getting ready to make a video and I'm trying to see what I made yesterday. Or the day before. I ended up just deleting it because I figured I'm going to redo it anyway. But I see there's a couple people parked in the parking lot. I see a couple guys walk out with fatigues and black jacket and stuff. I'm like, what are these people doing? And they're looking at me like, what are you doing here? I'm like, well, I'm just parking the parking lot. And I'm looking, they got the, the vest on to say police and stuff on the back. So I left and drove down. I see him walking down here. I go up and talk to my wife. I'm like, because she works up there at the office. Well, people from the city are here camping or hiding out. One of the people went into the bath, ladies' room. Needles everywhere and blood everywhere. People come out here because there's really no police. And after like 4 o'clock or whatever, you know, the park police, they just, they're not around. So state police, well, they were in an unmarked pickup truck. I don't know what police they were, but... Come out here in the middle of nowhere. And, you know, people are doing that shit. Unbelievable. They got some nice cabins out here for rent. They got cabins and shelters. I don't know the difference. One's got electric, one doesn't. One's got a kitchenette, one doesn't. I don't really know. Got a nice little dock. Canoe. I don't know what they charge it for a canoe. So I gotta get back to I needed some more wood for the chicken coop. And you know, the truck broke down. Couldn't put wood in the truck. Couldn't pull the trailer. And feel like, oh you know, just get a cheap car. Well, we got a car. But if something happens, if there's a forest fire and we got to get the hell out of there, I need a truck. We got animals. We got stuff we got to take with us. So I had to get another truck. But the chickens, you know, we eat eggs like crazy. Now, we're still buying eggs, you know. The prices, it is what it is. It's not that expensive where it's... You know, when things get too expensive, we're not getting them. 
but I'm not getting chickens because I don't think we're not going to be able to get eggs. It's going to cost money to feed them. When it gets to the point we can't feed them anymore, we got plenty of chicken to eat. But fresh farm eggs, there's a big difference between that and store bought eggs. ShopRite and all these. All right, you know, we eat them. But it's not like, uh, the hell was that? And my buddy that just moved gave us some fresh eggs. I'm like, wow. It's been a long time since I had farm fresh eggs. So, you know, get some chickens, hopefully. You know, my wife still wants to work on the garden. But, you know, the fertilizer and all that shit's getting expensive. Is it really even worth growing a garden? I don't know. It's those things, you do it until you can't, I guess. I mean, even if you had a giant garden, you grew a, a thousand tomatoes and a thousand potatoes. You got to do something with it because they're going to go bad. They're not going to last forever. So, gardening, I don't know. Is it worth it or isn't it? What are your thoughts on a garden? What are your thoughts on chickens? Because we're some egg-eating MFers over here, I'll tell you that. But I see people, I mean, we're struggling. Things are going on in our household and things are getting tight. You know, I had to get a freaking truck. That didn't help. But it was actually cheaper to do that than fix mine. But I see a lot of people having problems with rent. People's rent went from $800 to like $1,800. Uh, I don't know anybody that's lost a house yet. But I know people that are, have lost jobs, people that are having all kinds of financial problems. And we go shopping, there's certain things we're not buying. You know, and you know, if you watch this channel, my wife and I used to go to that wildlife drive down by Brigantine, Atlantic City to look at all the animals and the birds and stuff. We go like every week, just not that far. Price of gas, I don't think we've been here in three months. I mean, we didn't just go there like, oh, there's nothing to do, let's go there, because there's always something to do. But it was, you know, like, well, we got to stop at ShopRite. We got to do some food shopping. Once they go into this ShopRite and BJ's, we'll go to the one this way. We'll do the wildlife drive. We'll hit the store and come home. So you do everything to try and save gas and time. And now the wind's picking up. I don't know if you're going to hear this. But with the price of gas the way it is, I mean, it's almost 450 now. <coughs> <coughs> freaking pollen everywhere and now it's coming down off the trees the price of gas is almost 450 it's like 441 448 diesels over six bucks but we haven't been going out and we went to BJ's got some stuff and you know like some people are having a hard time buying food I've seen pick stuff up look at the price of that put it back look at the price of that some stuff is sold out, you know, we went to get my mom bread and stuff. Three stores, no bread, anywhere. You know, maybe it was just because of the area, I don't know. But I see other people you know, ordering shit online every day. Every day, UPS, Amazon at the house, two, three times a day. I guess they don't have a clue, or they're financially set. Um, I, I see people... Buying four thousand, like thirty-five hundred dollar patio furniture. Another guy I saw they're putting in a freaking in-ground pool. Nope. Uh, if they got money for that, I hope they're not doing it on credit. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And if I did, I would probably be wrong in three weeks' time anyway. Everything changes day by day. Everything. You think one thing, you know one thing, and. I don't know I don't know what to believe what not to believe what's real what's fake is everything freaking green screen and people are in Ukraine maybe they're not even there <laughs> you know I don't know it stopped raining you know, uh, people across the lake with a dog so in the comments let me know what you think are you stocking up what are you stocking up on and what are you staying away from uh, and what are you expecting I don't think we're going to get nuked. I'm not expecting bombs. But 
I'm kind of pushing towards or leaning towards EMP and power outages. And that's what I've been saying for the last two or three years. Looks like it's going to pour again. But out here, you see military vehicles driving around because they're not far from the military base. You see those big armored personnel carrier things and five tons and convoys all the time. But the, when we were going looking at trucks and stuff like that and trying to get my truck fixed, I saw some military vehicles that were like a dark brown. I've never seen anything like them before. I don't know what the hell they were. Seeing some airplanes flying over my house. Doing the bombing runs and practice runs. You can hear the bombs. You can hear the guns. And Like when I was out here yesterday, the day before, you could hear the machine gun fire like crazy. But a couple of planes flying over my house, I have no idea. They look completely different than what I'm used to seeing. I don't know what that means, but. So this is Pawnee Prepper Bill. Let me know what you think, and if you get a chance, go over to Secret Stuff, look at his latest video. And in the links below, uh, he's got a link to another YouTube video about uh, Russia and stuff like that. I watched part of it, and then I lost signal out here. I've been trying to email people. My email is not working. So, I don't know what's going on. And secret stuff was talking about that Primus. Did I say it? Primus stove? And it's weird, you know, when we go to the dump, you know, we have to take our trash to dump. They have, uh, people put stuff off to the side. If it's good, you know, you might find a TV, a microwave, or books, or whatever. Uh, I guess people were moving, and they were selling stuff, and whatever they didn't sell, they were taking the dump and just stacking it all. Camping gear, fishing gear. Well, a friend of my wife's got a bunch of stuff, and they don't do any camping, and gave us this thing, and it's a Svea, S-V-E-A, one, two, three, stove. It's real nice. I haven't tried it out yet, though. So I'll do a video on that, maybe. But it was just weird, because Secret Stuff did a video on the one that one day, and like two days later, somebody gave us one. Awesome. All right, this is Pony Prepper Bill. If you get a chance... Let me know what you think in the link in the description below. I'll talk to you later. Bye.